Spirit Halloween is going back to a time whenever child props were a bit more gory, scary, and, you know, kind of downright disturbing, and most families actually thought it was A-OK -okay to have these kind of animatronics. So in today's video, we'll be talking about why Spirit Halloween is going back to these old times, and, you know, why I just think overall that Spirit Halloween 2023 will be a scarier year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as we know, Spirit Halloween has just released a teaser a couple days ago, kind of showing off, you know, little hints and teases to their 2023 themes and animatronics. Now, the first topic I want to talk about here is the theme itself. A big part of Spirit Halloween is the ISEs, which is the in-store experience. So here recently, we've definitely noticed a sort of change up in themes and how a lot of the themes haven't really been straight up Halloween related. We've had a lot of different exotic themes, which are fine, but only if you kind of tie Halloween into them, and Spirit really, it really hasn't been doing the best job with that. Um, however, the 2019 theme was pretty good still and very spooky. Uh, like, themes like 2021 and 2020 didn't have a, you know, the best Halloween feel to them. Doesn't mean they're bad, it just means that they weren't very spooky at all. So now we notice that last year even, Spirit Halloween is definitely returning back to their old ways of bringing back old Halloween themes, and now we're getting a cemetery, which is honestly the most classic Halloween theme you can do. And honestly, getting, like, I guess the atmosphere um, that we got from the teaser, it, I kind of have a feeling that this year they're really going to make the theme very dark and grim and, you know, kind of gothic almost, which is a really cool idea for a cemetery. And this is kind of what we're all hoping for um, is a change up in themes and, like, darker lighting in general. So hopefully that is a, you know, step up in the right direction for the themes. Something else I really want to talk about is the actual backstory of each animatronic character. Now, whenever they released the tombstones, we actually did get uh, full-on descriptions of each animatronic character, kind of getting an idea of, like, who they are, you know, not really exactly what they look like, but, you know, we got an idea of what we can expect from them. And these backstories are actually a lot more detailed and just overall a bit more darker than I was expecting. A lot of these backstories actually had full-on stories to them, and they were all pretty, I guess, you know, dark and gruesome in their own ways. Now, of course, this could just be because, you know, they wanted to make it sound scary. Maybe the animatronics themselves aren't, like, the scariest things ever. But how I, I kind of don't think that's going to be the case. You can't really make a scary description and then not have the animatronic itself be pretty gruesome. And from what the description describes some of these animatronics as, that's a pretty, you know, dark character. Especially, like, one, like, uh, Darling Betty or something. That's, like, a seven-foot-tall, like, half-doll, half-human woman. That is a really freaky description, and I'm really excited to see that one in person. Um... And that just overall, it doesn't sound like anything Spear Helming would do here recently. That's a like a literal morphed human and a doll. That sounds like it's from like Coraline or something. That's really, really cool. Overall, that's just super duper exciting. And we even have props like Hellspawn, which again, are just animatronics I really wasn't expecting to see nowadays from Spirit Halloween. You know, Spirit's done um, devil-themed animatronics in the past, but I really don't don't expect them to do it nowadays. Like, sure, they did Baphomet back in 2021, but that wasn't, like, a full-on, uh, like, straight-up devil animatronic. It was just kind of relating to it. This is, like, a straight-up devil animatronic. It literally says on the tombstone. The description, you know, mentions it several times. This is really, really dark for Spirit nowadays, something I was not even expecting. Even, like, back then, I feel like it's rare to see props that are, like, straight up related to this stuff, um, because it's, I guess, a bit more of a touchy subject for, you know, a lot of families, um, so seeing that they're doing this really does make me and a lot of other people think that they are definitely taking a bit more risk with how scary their animatronics are going to be, and maybe this is what they've been waiting for the entire time, maybe these past few years, you know, they've been sort of saving all of these really gruesome and scary ideas for their 40th anniversary to make sure that this year is super scary. And something else I kind of also want to mention is, like, the licensing props that we're getting here recently also. You know, here in the past, we've sort of been getting, you know, more, like, child-friendly ones versus, like, the way back old days of Spirit when, when we would get, like, straight up just, like, all horror movie characters, like, slashers and stuff. You know, we're now kind of getting more, like, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas and Killer Clowns from Outer Space and, you know, those types of characters. And, and those aren't really, like, the scariest characters. And even, like, Sam from Trick or Treat is, like, a little kid. He's not really, like, that scary. But now we're kind of going back to the old days where we're getting, like, a Leatherface this year um and yeah we were getting a killer console out of space but still and apparently last year we got a reagan you know those are very scary characters that i'm honestly surprised they're actually bringing to stores especially reagan um yet again but i'm you know it's it's, it's a very nice twist on things you know from whenever we just saw they're about to go kid friendly like full on now they're sort of bringing these characters back to the store which sort of kind of is what made spirit halloween popular to begin with and I have no doubt in my mind that these scary animatronics will sell good. 
you know, people go to the Halloween stores, you know, looking for scary things to put in their displays and haunt. Unless you're wanting more like a family friendly one, then, you know, there's options for you out there now. But, you know, people want to be scared. Scare being scared is fun on Halloween. That's kind of what it's about, you know. So I definitely like that Spirit Halloween is going back to this stuff. We have to see these in person before we can actually make the official judgment. Like, yeah, these are definitely going back to like the old times of being super scary. But from what we can just see from the descriptions, I have high hopes for this year. Not only that, but even some of their recent returning animatronics are a bit more on the darker side. Creepy Rising Doll, even though it might not be the most gruesome animatronic, it's definitely something that we wouldn't expect to see nowadays. You know, I, I was honestly expecting them to bring back a prop like Pumpkin Nester, who's, you know, an all-time classic, but, you know, not exactly the most scariest, which I'll get into a video about that, don't worry. But, no, we're getting Lunging Lily and Rising Doll. These are both two animatronics I was honestly not expecting to see just because of how dark they are, especially Lunging Lily. I mean, this is literally a possessed kid something that you know spirit halloween was kind of known for back then um so i'm really surprised that they were bringing her back and again it just kind of goes to show like this year is going to be different especially because we don't know if she's actually going to be in stores or not i'd be surprised if she was in stores um but you know only time can tell but anyways, guys, these are my reasons for why I think Spirit Halloween 2023 is going to be overall a darker year. I know I made this video last year, and as soon as I made it, the leaks come out. So that would be really funny if that happens again. However, I kind of doubt it this year. Um, but I truly do think that this year is going to be different than the previous years. Just from what we've seen so far, the descriptions, the returning animatronics, the audio, you know, even the licensed characters, just everything, even the themes, is coming together to create more of a old-style feel for Spirit Halloween. And I can't wait for even some of the newer... Uh, audiences or new newer customers for spirit halloween to enjoy you know the scare factor that they can provide anyways guys that's going to do this video make sure to like comment and subscribe tell me your thoughts down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one bye